all right so this is question number two and this is on change of subject was c2021 question two of core mathematics the a part given that p is equal to q minus t over t plus one make t the subject of derivation find the value of t when p equal two over three and q equal three over four so let's make t the subject first so the given relation is p equal q minus t over t plus one let's cross multiply first to obtain this relation now we are going to apply the distributive property on the left hand side so we expand p times t is pt the p times 1 is p the right hand side is on is untouched now let's group the terms containing t since that is what we are making a subject so we obtain pt plus t is equal to q minus p now let's collect t from here since it is common to both terms on the left so we have t into bracket p plus one then on the right is on touch we can now divide through by p plus one hence the i part will give us t is equal to q minus p over p plus one now we have to find the value of t when p equal two over three and q equal three over four so let's do a substitution so wherever we see p we put two over three and wherever we see q we put three over four so that is what we get here now we need to simplify this fraction here for the top one we have the lcm to be 12 and the down one the down fraction the lcm is is 3 so when we find the lcm 4 goes into 12 3 times 3 times 3 is 9 3 goes into 12 Okay, 4 goes into 12, 3 times 3 times 3 is 9. Then 3 goes into 4, 3 goes into 12, 4 times, and 4 times 2 is 8. So that gives us 9 minus 8. Then in the denominator, the LCM is 3. So this is the same as 1 over 1. So 3 goes into 3 once times 2. That will give us 2 then one goes into three three times times one that will give us three so let's simplify nine minus eight is one over twelve then two plus three is five over three now we are going to rewrite so that this becomes the the really sign which is written like this so we can now reciprocate the second fraction and multiply it by the first fraction. So we can cancel 3 goes here, 1, 3 goes here 4 times. So 1 times 1 is 1, then 4 times 5 is 20. The B aspect, given that M is equal to 2X over 1 minus X squared, and n is equal to 2x over 1 plus x expressed in simplest form 2m minus n in terms of x so let's do the substitution now 
wherever we see um, we put 2x over 1 minus x squared. And wherever we see n, we put 2x over 1 plus x. So this will give us the algebraic fraction on the right hand side. So let's first of all multiply this and this to give us 4x over 1 minus x squared minus 2x over 1 plus x. Now this is difference of two squares. So we can factorize this. This is the same as 1 squared minus x squared. So that will give us 1 minus x, 1 plus x. So we still keep in this one. So the only thing we have done is the factorization of the denominator here. Now we are going to collect the LCM for this. And the LCM is... The LCM for this and this is 1 minus x, 1 plus x. So that is it. Now when 1 minus x comes here, when this comes here, everything goes. So we have 1 times 4x, which is 4x. Then we have 1 plus x when it comes here. This will go, we are left with 1 minus x times the 2x. The negative is this one so we are going to expand here by using the 2 to multiply the 1 and again to multiply the x that is negative 2x so you have to be mindful of the negative here so let's expand so 4x minus 2x this and this will give us negative 2x negative negative becomes positive 2x squared. Then the else the denominator is still the same. Now we are going to simplify the numerator. We can simplify 4x and 2x to obtain 2x. Then we can collect a common factor of 2x, highest common factor of 2x in the numerator again. So this can cancel this now. We are left with 2x over 1 minus x thanks for watching up to this point please don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so yet thanks for watching